Bird migration is one of the most fascinating phenomena in the natural world. Every year, millions of birds around the globe take to the skies and travel thousands of kilometers to reach their breeding and wintering grounds. Yet, not all birds migrate. In fact, many species stay put year-round, even in regions where the weather can be harsh and unforgiving. So, why do some birds migrate, while others do not? First, let's define what we mean by migration. In ornithology, migration refers to the seasonal movement of birds from one place to another. Most commonly, this involves moving from a breeding area to a wintering area, although some species may also migrate to find food or avoid extreme weather conditions. Migration is a complex behavior that is influenced by a range of factors, including genetics, environmental cues, and individual experience. So, why do some birds migrate? One of the main reasons is food availability. Many bird species rely on insects or other small prey items as their primary food source. However, in regions where winters are cold and harsh, these food sources may become scarce or even non-existent. To survive, birds must either switch to a different food source or move to a more favorable location. For many species, migration is the most efficient way to find the food they need to survive. Another reason why birds migrate is to breed. Many bird species have specific breeding grounds where they raise their young each year. These breeding grounds may be located in regions with a more favorable climate, such as in the Arctic tundra, or in temperate forests. By migrating to these areas, birds can take advantage of the abundant food resources and favorable breeding conditions to successfully raise their young. So, what about birds that don't migrate? There are a few reasons why some species choose to stay put year-round. For some, it may be because they are adapted to survive in harsh environments. For example, the ptarmigan is a bird that lives in the Arctic tundra and is able to withstand extremely cold temperatures by growing a thick layer of feathers. Other species, such as the American goldfinch, are able to switch to different food sources as the seasons change, allowing them to stay in one place throughout the year. There are also some physiological differences between migratory and non-migratory birds. For example, migratory birds have a higher metabolism and need to consume more energy to fuel their long-distance flights. They also have larger wingspans and longer flight muscles than non-migratory birds. Additionally, migratory birds are able to sense and use Earth's magnetic field to navigate, which is something that non-migratory birds do not have. In conclusion, bird migration is a fascinating behavior that is driven by a range of factors, including food availability and breeding conditions. While many species choose to migrate to find these resources, some are able to stay put year-round due to adaptations or their ability to switch food sources. By understanding the reasons why birds migrate, we can gain a greater appreciation for the complexity and wonder of the natural world. Thank you for watching this video on why some birds migrate and some do not. We hope you enjoyed learning about this fascinating behavior and the differences that distinguish migratory and non-migratory birds. If you found this video interesting, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest videos. We regularly upload content about the natural world and are always exploring new topics to share with our viewers. We also encourage you to leave a comment below with your thoughts on bird migration. Do you have a favorite migratory bird species, or have you witnessed a bird migration in person? We would love to hear from you and continue the conversation in the comments section. Once again, thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.